Hello, hello, hello! It's Stacy from Truly Majestic. Today I am going to be sharing with you three different blankets that I have knitted up over the last few years and how they handled daily usage, or some of them aren't daily usage. So you'll be able to see up close how they actually look and no matter what you do with a wool roving blanket, it will shed. No matter how much you felt it, it will shed to some extent. You can definitely um, make the shedding less. So first of all, please guys, please share this video to your timelines on Facebook or Pinterest or wherever you share videos because I think this is really important for people to know that these blankets just don't hold up and you might be spending hundreds and hundreds on making one of these beautiful billowy blankets to begin with but in the end they do definitely flatten and they shed. So please share this and help your fellow arm knitters understand what actually happens with these blankets. So this green one gets got knitted up and I used it on top of, um, you know, on top of my couch. And also we did actually end up using it under our bedding as a mattress topper for a while, which is why it got really, really flat. So. <laughs> It still looks great and it still is super warm, but it definitely flattened and it didn't keep its billowiness because we were sleeping on it. And I felted that one up like mad in the washing machine. So it, it was the best out of all three of these. You can see how this one is felting up and pilling and we are using this one as a mattress topper. This is white eider top wool roving. And I did lightly felt it in the washing machine to begin with although I wasn't too worried about felting it really good because we were going to be sleeping on it and underneath a, um, you know, it's underneath our sheets. So it's not going to be shedding everywhere. You can see if you wanted to pull this yarn apart and unravel it and knit it into something else, it has actually kind of pilled and felted together so you would really have to yank it because it has, the whole blanket has started felting together. Um, and it still looks pretty good. You can use it on the couch, you can use it, you know, under as a mattress topper like we've done because it makes your mattress so much more breathable and it's cool in the summer and warm in the winter and this is just amazing, amazing wool to use for a mattress topper. I'll put a link in the description how I made this and the cheapest wool I could find on the planet to you to make this which was really um, incredible because it's like 20 kilos of wool and it is so warm. Sorry, that's not 20 kilos, it's 10 kilos of wool, which is 22 pounds. The last one really got destroyed and I knitted this up into a carrot blanket, unraveled it, knitted it loads of times, just like the green one actually. But the main difference is I put this one after a while into a synthetic polyester duvet cover and that was apparently not the right thing to do. So this got used as a quilt on top of us or a duvet um, and the synthetic polyester cover basically destroyed the blanket. So this is not something that you want to do because we thought maybe it'll shed less, you know, it, it's real nice and toasty warm but it'll shed less all over the house um, and ourselves if we put it in a cover. And that was definitely not the thing to do. So it's full of these little pillies and um, it looks really dreadful. It looks like something that should be made into a dog bed now. So please don't do that with your covers. They, all of these um, blankets do shed to some extent, but they are all well felted up. Um, I use the washing machine. I use the washing machine to felt them up and this is what they look like after several years of use. So do take caution and take note if you want to make a wool roving blanket after a few years. They will change, they will not be huge and billowy like they originally are, but it does depend on your use. If you just sit it there on the couch and you don't touch it, you drive in your car. Okay, go drive your car over there. If you sit on the couch and never use it, then it'll stay big and billowy. But if you want to use this beautiful, nice, toasty, warm blanket, they do wear. And after probably 10 years, they'll have even more pillies probably. 
so this was um, all of these blankets have two to three years of use and this is how they look. So I'll just let the video continue to play. It's about seven minutes long. And you can just see the up close, you know what I've done with each blanket. I felted all of these up in the washing machine um, slightly to begin with. And some of them, the orange and the green one, definitely got knitted more than the white one. And I'll also put um, video links of me actually knitting this. You know, when I first started knitting, it was really puffy and beautiful, and you can see the original state of the wool roving, and also where I bought them. All that will be in the description. So, enjoy the video. Please do share this just to get this information out to other arm knitters. It is really important they understand how this is going to look after a few years. Thanks for watching. Bye.